so here's my problem. The truck is squatting pretty badly, and I'd really like to get some more air in the airbags here. I'd also like to get some more air in the tires. Uh, but the fill for the airbags is back here by the license plate. And my air compressor, the cable isn't long enough to get from here all the way to the back bumper. I have two of these splitter things with some wire. One of them is not long enough. Two of them are string together long enough. But this one has some kind of surge protection or something that turns the circuit off as soon as I plug this thing in. Even before I turn it on, um, I can hear this thing click off. So my idea is to take this apart and basically take the safety out of it. Um, let's see how that goes. The handy knife screwdriver. Everyone needs one of these. See what we've got in here. This thing's a lot smarter than it needs to be. Some pretty fancy stuff going on for what I assumed was just a splitter. But I think I'd rather dumb it down and make it just a splitter. Because that's what I need. Now the trick I'm trying to figure out is how to easily modify this when most of my tools are packed away in the trailer. I have some tools in the cab of the truck. I'll go see what I can do with what I have in there. All right, here's some stuff I had in my tool bag. Got some wire connectors, some pliers, some crappy little wire cutters, and a pair of vice grips. We can probably work with that. First off, let's free this circuit board up. Use some of these butt connectors butt connectors. Let's use the crappy ones. Because believe me, this is a crappy job we're doing right here. Nothing fancy or official about this. Oh. So I was trying to strip that wire and pulled it right off the solder pad. That's a problem. I've got a soldering iron, of course, but I really don't feel like digging it out. All right, new plan. No butt connectors. Put those back. I say I just strip this end and might be able to stick a wire under there. Let's see if I can strip this one out without pulling it off the pad. Nope. Alright. That sucks. Let's see. New plan of attack. Stick the wires in here. These are the worst wire cutters in the world. So looking at this, I know the, the side with the ridges on it is headed to the center pin, which is the positive. So now I know how to wire up this scary end. 
It's not that scary. It's just 12 volt. Still. This is the wrong way to do this. Alright, now that we know that, take the end with the ridges on it. It is this wire. So, we'll tuck that under this center pin cable right here. Cable, nut, center pin nut. Nudge those wires around so that we're not shorting anything. That's the wrong tool. See? Knife screwdriver, always the right tool. Never leave home without it. Alright, now this other one, the negative, we'll just take our knife knife driver, we'll pull up one of these pads, shove that right in there, and fold it over, try and make it hold the wire. That is not holding at all. We want to do better than that. And come to think of it, since these are all wired in parallel, I don't need to use that one and have it so close to the other wire. So I don't even need to have all of them work. Don't forget to stab yourself with the knife driver. There we go. Just poke it in that one and fold it over. Give the knife driver a rest. There we go, that's holding it. Now we have one absolutely terrifying safety removed cigarette lighter extension. Let's see if this works. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got the power outlet. We got some duct tape on there because that light was very bright. Going to extension splitter thing number one going down to janky terrifying splitter thingy number two going to wire over the tire back here to the compressor which is plugged into the airbag fill nozzle i don't know if you can see it right there next to the license plate and it works now, is this the right way to do this? No. No, I'm sure you can buy extensions that are, you know, not exposed and weird. Um, is it safe? I'm going to say since it's 12 volt power and there's a decent chance that this one has some kind of uh, fuse or protection. Um, Although, actually, I know there's a fuse in this one, so we at least have one fuse before it goes to the battery system. So I'm going to say uh, maybe. Maybe vaguely safe. Um, not, not horribly unsafe. Uh, but the most important thing is it works. So I can get the air in the airbags, hopefully get the back end of this thing up a little bit, uh, and ride a little bit better. So thanks for watching.